You at a shooting range yeah. with a gun and, and a target. In the middle of his that chest. Was all shot up, Ooh, and yeah. you decided to uh, tag Sean. Got I said that. So now you want to act stuff on stupid. And I need you to not lie, because I'm going to smack the shit at you. I hate this guy. <laughs> hey. Okay, so today we're gonna be watching this reality TV show that apparently is really scary that it literally got canceled after one season. But what the hell? So I wanted to figure out like why this show got canceled after one season, like what was wrong with it. And I think watching this would be very fitting for my channel because it got criticized for it literally promoting stocking. Like literally the like premise of the show was like stalking people and I don't know who thought that was a good idea How many people were like Fuck. Yep, that's it and it became a show, but it on it ended up being canceled for obvious reasons so the TV show is called MTV ghosted it literally finding people like okay, how, do, how, do I, how do I explain this? Like, if somebody was ghosted, if you don't know what ghosted means, it means like you've been talking to somebody, maybe like, like flirty, some like cute stuff or whatever, like maybe going on a couple dates, and then boom, out of nowhere, they're gone. And the whole point of the show was people trying to find the people that ghosted them. And I know, I know ghosting is wrong. I've never done it myself. I don't think you should just disappear on somebody. But also, I feel like when people ghost people, they have a pretty good reason to. Like, imagine you literally go on a date with some guy, and after a couple dates, you find out this guy is like a weirdo, a serial killer type of vibes, and you're like, bro, I don't wanna end up in a body bag. I'm just never gonna talk to this person again. And then the next thing you know, you're on MTV. Make it make sense. I have literally not watched any of the show at all. I'm saving this all for my YouTube channel, all to watch with you guys. Like, I have no idea what I'm about to watch. Okay, so the video we're gonna be watching is Will this serial ghoster end his shady ways? On this episode of Ghosted Love Gone Missing, Travis and Rachel go to Brooklyn to help Kayla figure out why her boyfriend Sean ghosted her with no explanation. We kind of just want to hear it from you, you know, take us back on the day. Wait, boyfriend? Bitch, you lying. Oh my, I thought it was just gonna be people that are like, you know, in the talking stage, not an actual boyfriend. What did your profile say exactly? Like, you know, where I was from, I'm originally from Florida, so I was like, Florida to New York, and I'm into anime. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, what does that even mean? Why is that her, like, title? Kayla, the haunted. I don't, I don't get it. At the very end, an asterisk and all bold, it was like, do not contact me if you're looking for a hookup, not your girl. And in his, it was, of course, the manly version, you know. I'm here for a relationship. I'm here for the real thing. I was never an online dating person. Wait, what did his profile act like the whole thing? Char- Wait! <laughs> his job? <gasps> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like, where you have, like, the name and then, like, underneath it, like, says, like, your job or, like, what school you go to. His says, um, gym rat. Tell me, <laughs> tell me you don't have a job without telling me you don't have a job. Sean's tired of all the games. I would have swiped left. I was never an online dating person. You know, my friends have done it and they were like, they swear by it. They found their soulmates. I was like, man, you're tripping, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to the old school way, so they were like, try it. To her surprise, Kayla fell for Sean hard. Here we go, we're swiping again, and here comes this tall, handsome guy, looking real good, suave, Sean. And I was like, okay. I swiped right. Oh, wait, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I now understand she's the haunted because he's the ghost. I get it. Are you dumb? Right on them and we start chopping it up. He's hitting me up good morning every morning. Good night. How's your day, beautiful? And you're telling someone good night <laughs> and good morning that you're already in a relationship. We just had so much in common. Everything, politics, you know, dreams, ambition. I'm in marketing. I am a strong woman. I am pretty independent. Um, for him, he had a lot of odd jobs. And he got- See, no, I don't sympathize with that because his bio literally said his job was a gym rat. Shoulda known, she shoulda known. I told y'all, red flag. But then on a typical date night, Sean vanished. So take us through the actual day. 
of the ghost. I believe it was like July 2018. So we made these plans, meet up at 9 p.m. by my place and then kind of find out what we wanted to do for the rest of the night. And nine o'clock came and he wasn't there. I'm texting him like, hey, where are you at? 10 p.m. rolls around, are you good? Same thing. 11 p.m., nothingness. That night, I felt stupid. Like, you start going through in your head, you know. I would've been worried the person was dead. If you tell me you're coming over my house, and like, we made plans and everything, and like, nine o'clock comes, 10 o'clock comes, like, I don't hear, not even like a, oh, I can't come. I hear nothing. I'm calling for help. <laughs> like, where is she? She's in New York City. You can die. Shh, it's New York. <laughs> People are crazy. Like, I would have literally thought he would have died on the subway. Travis and Rachel went to get Kayla some answers. So they start digging through Sean's Instagram where they find Sharice, who seems to have beef with Sean. Oh, Sharice. Hey. hey. We're here because you posted a picture. You at a shooting range yeah. with a gun <laughs> and a target. In the middle of his that chest. Was all shot up Ooh, and yeah. you decided to uh, tag Sean. Got they decided to go find somebody that knew this person and they picked the person who was posting on their Instagram pretending to shoot him. I don't even care how bad something ended between me and somebody else. If you ever see me at a shooting range and tag somebody on the person that I've been shooting at, send help because that's just like not of my feelings, had a shot of yak, and posted it. We were supposed to go out on a date. I called him several times and he didn't answer the phone. I decided to just show up to his house to see if he was there and I got no answer, there was nobody there. I went through several days of calling him back to back and then I found out from a friend a month after he ghosted on me that he was out on a date with some other chick. Okay, so he's definitely not dead, I think. He's just a f***ing weirdo, I don't know, like. After tracking down yet another woman that Sean ghosted. <laughs> yes, a third. They get a call from the serial ghoster himself. What do you know? It's Sean. What's up, Sean? It's Rachel and Travis. What's up? Uh, what's up, man? What's, what's going on, yo? We're doing a show with MTV about ghosting. What do you mean, ghosting? Do you, are do you, you not do you familiar not know what ghosting, what ghosting means? They said that, like, do you not know? Are you not embarrassed? What is that video? <laughs> are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. I feel like ghosting is not a common term, right? Like, if I walked, maybe if that's just because of my mom. Some boomer shit. But, like, if I, if I walked into my mom's room and I was like, yo, do you know what the term ghosting is? She'd have no clue. No clue. If I walked in and I said, do you know what catfishing is? Yes, ma'am. But I'm getting very hostile vibes. Um, that would be breaking up with people. Ghosting is where you- Oh, she's mad. She's mad. You do it and you just disappear without any texts, without DMing. Without like, an explanation. Nothing. No messages, nothing. What's that got to do with me? Well, I'm trying to figure out. Well, by well, the way, he just said, what's that got to do with me? Hmm. Sean, your name has come up and it has come to our attention that you have ghosted Kayla. Okay, so Kayla reached out to us. She said that you go. <laughs> I kind of love him, but I kind of hate him. Like I hate him because I know he's probably an asshole, but I think it's so funny. I would, I would be surprised if he did not just hang up. Watch him hang up. I'm calling it now. Kayla. Kayla. You Oh my god, this is so cool, man. You do know Kayla. I gotta get back, I gotta get back to work, man. What do y'all want from me? He's 100% gonna hang up. He's like, oh yeah, that You know what? Actually, now that you've said that, I gotta go. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's like... We want your side of the story. If you're free on Sunday, we'd love to bring you and Kayla face to face. You can totally, you know, tell her your side of the story, get some things off your chest. Just to set the record straight. Yeah, whatever. Right. The day has come. It's time for Kayla and Sean to meet face to face. Well, that's if he decides to show up. Yo. Yo, man. Uh, I'm gonna be late. You're gonna be late? How late, Sean? I don't know. Uh, okay, we're... <laughs> 
Okay, we're here. We've been we're, here. We're waiting for you. You told us you were gonna show up. Come on, man. It's a long ass ride all the way over there. Like, too much, man. We got, like, bro, we got a car for you. You literally just gotta sit down. And come. And come. And just... Wait, they got a car for him? He's not even driving himself. Oh my. This man lazy. Lazy. Or he's scared. Probably scared. But lazy. He's complaining about the drive, and he's not even driving himself. Hello? He just can't hear. Because we don't want to waste Kayla's time. We don't want to. I feel so bad. She looks so nervous. Where are the other two girls? I want to know. That would be funny if they told them, hey, you're only going to meet up with this one girl, but all three of them are there. I'm going to waste our time. We've already been here. In the car. Whatever. All right, I'm sending it right now. I've been in like a couple hours. You know what? A couple hours? All right, actually, now let's bring in the bitch who wants to shoot him. Hello, motherfucker. This man may deserve it. A couple hours. Sean, just get here when you can. All right, all right. I hate this guy. I don't get you. You were always, you know, so charming and so sweet. Look at her, he's not even looking her in the eye. This man's trash. You were telling me I want to be in a relationship with you. I think you're the one. And I, you had me believing all of that. Why are you looking like that? Do you not remember? You think when I go out on dates actually with guys now, and they actually show me, you know, the good things about them, they're supportive, they're caring, do you think I can believe them now? He won't even look her in the eye. She's like literally like pouring out her emotions. She's like, do you hear me? And he's like. You were a substantial part of my life, a very substantial part of my life. I actually fell in love with you. I'm big enough to admit that now. But the way you're sitting here in front of me, acting like you don't care. Come on, man. Let me dig with it. This man literally says two words. What? Come on. All right. That's it. <laughs> that is the only words I've heard from this man this entire episode. A little bit deeper for you. Remember all those meals I would cook for you? Yeah, okay, you probably don't because you want to you want, you act stupid now. I would, you, would come, you came over to my house. We were laying up on my couch, cuddled up. You were talking about how you could see yourself falling in love with me. I'm wifey material, how you want to take this to the next level. And now you look at dumb by the face like you never said that. Sean. Nothing is going on up there. Nothing. He looks confused. Either I don't think that she's making this shit up. Did you say that? He asked me what I said in a sentence when I was drinking tequila. You and I never got drunk with each other. Kind of a valid excuse. I don't remember anything I'll be saying off tequila. <laughs> with each other. Maybe, yeah, we had a glass of really? wine. Ooh, we didn't drink all that hornitos. No. Really? What are you talking With those Cancun shot glasses. We didn't do that. Wait, you can remember the shot glasses, but you can't remember if you told- 10 bucks, it was a different girl. He's like, you don't remember? We were taking those shots. We were getting up on tequila. And she's like, what are you talking about? I don't even drink. And he's like, oh, wrong, wrong. Are you on to be with her or not? You, you're not gonna sit up here and confuse me with other chicks that you was dealing with. See, she said it too. See, he's talking about a different girl. He's caught. Look at his face. He's like, oh. Come on, man. We met on Tinder. You think he was the only one I met on Tinder? We met it's on Tinder. Wait, wait, wait. We met on Tinder. I was dealing with you on FaceTime, in conversations, all the time. You texted me, good morning, baby. How you doing, beautiful? What? What? Good night. So, oh my God, how was your day? Am I not day? supposed to be and, saying good oh, wait, morning? Oh, this isn't about you. Shut up. Can you look at me when I'm talking to you? Because you only looked at me once in this whole conversation. Oh, no, now she called that up. Yes, I'm rude for her. Also, I mean, there's nobody else to really root for. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Yes. In one of our conversations, when I asked you, did you want to date anyone else, you said no. I said that. I said that. So now you want to act stuff on stupid. And I need you to not lie, because I'm going to smack the shit at you. <laughs> Dude, I would pay money, money to watch Rachel WWE. Smack down this man right now. I don't remember saying that. I'm delusional. Okay, I'm Sean, lying. Did you ever I'm tell lying. Kayla that you two I'm were lying. exclusive? No. I definitely. Now I remember that. No matter how drunk I is, I never said exclusive. That's kind of slurred his words a little bit there. No matter how drunk I is, I, I didn't. I did not. I didn't drink at all. It's not even in my vocabulary. I never said that. Have you ever been in an exclusive relationship before, Sean? No, whoa, no. My last real relationship was like high school. I used to break up with girls. Like when I was in high school, I used to break up with girls. College, I would break up with girls. Next thing you know, they egg in my car. I've had my tire. 
Why is he like flexing? They got girls giving me dirty looks when we walk past on it. No. A boo I had girls giving me dirty looks. <laughs> Shut the up. Like, was any of it real? Sean, why did you ghost me? I think we had like our wires crossed. We started out just hanging out, just having a good time, drinking, talking, chilling. Next thing you know, you want to FaceTime me and like just talk to me while you not even doing nothing. You just on your break, just eating a f burrito. How do, you, how do you get mad at somebody for literally wanting to just talk to you? There's a decline button for a reason. I don't want to do that. I talk about things that people who like each other do. Why couldn't you just say, hey, don't FaceTime me while I'm Cause then that's, that's, cause I'm not rude like that. That's what, I'm not, like, come on. I'm well, sorry, I'm be like, what the f just happened? What? Oh, no. Oh my God. So now you're gonna take that so you're gonna you find, spin it like. You find ghosting someone to be less rude on the, I'm sorry. He's like, I'm not a rude person. I, w I didn't want to like tell you I didn't want to FaceTime, but like, um, I'll never speak to you again and give you no reason and then give you the idea that I literally died. All right. Yes, I do find ghosting to be a lot less rude than that. Okay, so, so just to be clear, what is the real reason that you ghosted Kayla? The real reason I ghosted you is simple. It works, it's efficient. It's like, it's a clean cut. I didn't want to continue. I want. What the fuck are you doing? That everything when I, was fine. When I quit a job, I don't Your put in a two weeks told notice. I just fine. leave. Your actions. Girl, what the fuck? So not only does he ghost women, <laughs> but he ghosts his job. So no wonder this man is literally unemployed. Kayla and Sean now have to decide whether they want to make up, ghost, or uh, call an Uber. They're texting each other? Are you calling a f Uber? Obviously, I'm not gonna send her no damn message, man. I'm trying to get out of here. I ain't sending a message the first time I go. Are we shocked? No, we're not. I'm sorry I ghosted her. The whole goddamn uh, world. I'm sorry I ghosted her, all right? Got your closure. I gave you everything you needed. Do you feel more comfortable with yourself? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is done, yo. And this Uber is $24. I said you were gonna take my car here and back though. Don't give his ass. That was a dub. That was a whole. Oh my god. You're gonna get my car here and back, man. I'm not getting you. But you can go. That ain't making me feel bad, man. Nobody's trying to make you feel bad, Sean. That's what People I feel like. just. You do. So you do feel bad. No, I feel you like you're trying to make me feel bad. Don't yeah. oh, you flirting with me? What's up? Do you really think that every female? Oh my god! He asked her if she's. Flirting with him? Bro, this woman is going to hit him. The talks he was trying to flirt with you? What you mean? You are, uh, Don't you uh, see this uh, ring on my finger? <laughs> <laughs> After what I just saw back there, you think I want you, Sean? Are you, you know kidding what? me? Hey. You really don't feel like you learned anything from this, Sean? Deuces. Like nothing. You don't feel like you learned anything. Hey, y'all be good, man. God bless you. What a piece of work. So, has Sean tried to hit up Kayla since then? I hope the hell not. I swear to God. Watch him be like, now we're, we're engaged. Hi. Hey, What's up, Kayla? Hey, girl. <laughs> How are you? Doing well, doing well. Been dating again. Um, hanging out with friends I haven't seen in a while. Well, you seem good. I can tell you're happy. It seems like, you know, you've found your groove again. <laughs> you regret finding your ghost? No. It was like eye-opening to really like understand that it wasn't me and you know, it's his mom. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to you guys for helping me through this crazy journey. You're, very You're welcome. welcome. We are so glad we could help. Bye. Bye. Good for uh, her. That's everything I wanted to hear from her. Okay. Okay, so I guess that was MTV's Ghosted, whatever the title is, um, reality television show that was canceled very quickly. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want me to do more reaction videos, let me know in the comments down below. So I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Ooh.